Good afternoon, Rich Nass, Executive Vice President with Open Systems Media and leader of the Embedded Computing Design franchise. I am here with Dustin C2 of Premio. Hello, Dustin, how are you? How's it going, Rich? It is going great. Um, would you please tell me a little bit of, about Premio? I'm, I'm afraid I'm not up to speed on what the latest and greatest is. That's un unfortunate. I would love to tell you about Premio as a please. whole. So we've been in the business for about 30 years. Um, the reason why you haven't really heard about the Premio brand name is because we've really catered to a B2B business. Um, so what I like to call Premio 1.0 and what we've done at that time was in the early 90s where white box PC manufacturing was really hot. Mm -hmm. um, so we served the K through 12 industry and we were doing large, large, large volumes of white box PCs specifically for the education market K through 12. Okay, that's interesting. And that's where we really develop our core competence in computing as a whole. Mm -hmm. But as you know, where the market is going at that time in the 90s, the PC market commodity dive, took a dive. Mm -hmm. So in order to sustain, in order to be more uh, resilient to the market, what we kind of transferred our business model to was more contract manufacturing EMS. So currently in our Los Angeles headquarters, 150,000 square foot manufacturing facility, full automation lines, and all of our customers through contract manufacturing, we've worked with Cisco, all of them have been acquired by Cisco. Over five of our customers have been acquired by Cisco. Um, but in that nature and in that business, um, a lot of your design is not your own proprietary design. You're working mm -hmm. with a lot of these customers. They're coming to you for their manufacturing. They're coming to you for the logistics as well to help service the product globally, right? So um, in around 2010 is where Premium, once again, what I like to call Premium 3.0, we move from our edge to cloud type of business model, and that's where we put our investment and in design into our homegrown products. So currently in our product line and portfolio, we have edge to cloud products, and in that edge to cloud products, we have fanless industrial um, embedded design. So this is why um, embedded world is a big show for us as a whole. Mm -hmm. But if you move to the high performance stuff in the type, uh, you know, HPC market, high performance storage, we do all uh, data center high rack mountable stuff that's using a lot of NVMe, dual node redundancy, and uh, high density type storage nodes as well. So how much of it is custom versus standard off the shelf? Um, on the embedded side, all of it's uh, standard off the shelf, but the reason why we have off the shelf is because a lot of our customers use that as building blocks. Mm -hmm. um, they can take those building blocks as a starting point and that's where our core competence and our engineering really comes into play. Um, so lots of times they'll take a, a kind of, I would say a cookie cutter type of uh, design mm -hmm. and they'll say, I need this type of customization on the IO. I need additional POE. So that's right. in the market like this for mm -hmm. embedded, it's, I would say, you know, 80% to 90% um, is, is off the shelf and then the rest is customization as well. And what about the software integration? Uh, so software integration is we work with a lot of third parties that mm -hmm. help us with that. Um, we're not software designers by, by nature, just through our history. Um, our core competence and our strength is really into the engineering design of the hardware of computing. So you're software agnostic, no matter what yeah. operating system somebody yeah. wants to come in with, you're good So with whether it. that be Linux uh, on the Windows side as well for the OS, but mostly software-wise, pretty, very agnostic. Okay, yeah. and what are, what are the applications that you see going forward that will really push your business? Uh, currently, um, the edge is the hot keyword, mm -hmm. um, but how the edge plays is um, a lot of people are seeing that the cloud is no longer needed. Um, it really needs to kind of move a lot of that data back to the edge level. Um, so as all these devices are coming online, um, as they're communicating with each other, now they have this valuable data. And that data needs to be aggregated to the point to where they can analyze that data. So um, in to answer your question, Rich, um, a lot of that market is moving into a, where I first see it is a lot of industrial automation, industry 4.0. Uh, autonomous as well, and I'm, I'm not talking, our products really don't fit into the autonomous actual inference analysis part mm -hmm. of it. Um, for the data logging, surveillance, monitoring side of that, that of the data is very important for edge computing specifically. But to be clear, you're not eliminating the storage, you're just moving it on-prem. Yeah, so we're, we're kind of making the storage more local. So um, in our booth here, you'll start to see some pretty unique um, elements of our design. We've pulled a lot of our design capabilities from our storage side. Um, so you'll see um, we basically use hot swap NVMe M.2 mm -hmm. um, with com in combination with the GPU to really have uh, the cache from the GPU um, with the NVMe storage. So you have that balance, workload balance. And you're taking that headache of security out of the picture by doing that. Um, security for us, the way we look at it as a hardware manufacturer, um, so TPM as the trusted platform module mm -hmm. itself, um, that really drives our direction for security. So um, as long as we have that soldered on board, um, in terms of a hardware encryption standpoint, that's where security really can help drive for us uh, from hardware. Very good, thank you very much. Yeah.